No two villains are created equal, and with the Dragon Ball franchise dating back all the way to 1984, its list of villains ranges from the almost laughable to seemingly indestructible. Oh my, what's the matter, big guy? Did you expect a fairy tale ending? Well, don't lose your head over it. Welcome to the Rewind. In this video, we'll be counting down the top 10 most powerful Dragon Ball villains. Number 10, Fused Zamasu. It could easily be argued that Zamasu and Goku Black both deserve a spot on our list. But when the two fused together and became one, an even more powerful villain is brought into existence. Fused Zamasu is easily able to take out Goku and Vegeta, and only Zeno, who is effectively God, is able to kill Fused Zamasu. If it weren't for Zeno, Fused Zamasu would have destroyed the entire universe. Number 9, Cooler. When Cooler first shows up in the Dragon Ball franchise, he's nearly identical to his younger brother, Frieza. Cooler shares a lot of abilities with Frieza, but can transform into a much stronger fourth form. However, just like Frieza, Cooler's final form has a weakness against Super Saiyans. Cooler isn't nearly as playful as his younger brother when it comes to tormenting his opponents. Instead, he prefers to get the job done without any hesitation. Stick around to see which spot Frieza claims in our countdown. Number 8, Beerus. The God of Destruction, Beerus, is Goku's first enemy in Dragon Ball Super. In their first encounter, Beerus quickly defeats Goku with just two hits and then heads to Earth to take out the remaining Z Fighters. After Goku recovers from his first encounter with Beerus, the two meet again and Goku is able to reach the level of Super Saiyan God. But it still isn't enough. Even after throwing punches capable of being felt across the universe, Beerus defeats Goku once again. Number 7. Kid Buu. You know Goku has to regret his decision to spare Fat Buu once Buu reaches his purest form. Kid Buu is easily the most powerful villain Goku faces in Dragon Ball Z. Though not as strong as Super Buu, Kid Buu fights so chaotically that it's almost impossible to read his movements and determine his next move. Goku burns through all of his stamina just trying to keep up. It takes a global janky dama for Goku to finally get an edge on Kid Buu, and he still needs to turn Super Saiyan to fully connect the attack and secure a victory. Darn it, I'm all out of power! Oh no, please, not now! Number 6, Janemba. Oh. Huh? Gosh, he doesn't seem that mean to me. Well, we'll soon find out. <laughs> Are you the one who put the barrier up around this world? Janemba, Janemba. Okay. The central villain in Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn, Janemba was created by a combustion of evil explosive energy and has the ability to use time and space as weapons. Although Goku is able to defeat Janemba's first form by transforming into a Super Saiyan 3 state, it's Janemba's second and final form that poses the real threat. Janemba's final form allows him to teleport and produce weapons out of thin air. He would have destroyed the entire universe had it not been for Goku and Vegeta fusing into Gogeta. Number 5, Cell. Named because of his ability to absorb Earthlings and transform, Cell was created by Dr. Jiro and possesses the DNA of several great fighters, including Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Frieza. His unique DNA allows Cell to regenerate and even emulate the Super Saiyan transformation. Cell's absorption of Android 17 and Android 18 allows him to reach his perfect form, transforming him into a villain capable of wiping out entire solar systems. What a joke! He's even smaller than he was before! 
Number 4. Gyron. Some could argue that Jiren technically isn't a villain, but given that he tries to take out the entire audience in his final fight with Goku, we think he deserves a spot on our list. Considered to be the only mortal that a god of destruction can't defeat, Jiren's existence is said to be merely a rumor in other universes. His presence unleashed such intense Kai that it shook the entire world of Void. Jiren has even defeated Goku's Ultra Instinct form, a form that gods of destruction can't even use. Although he technically lost the Tournament of Power, he still deserves a spot at number 4 on our countdown. You've outplayed me, Jiren. Hard to believe I couldn't even land a blow when I was at blue with Kaioken times 20. Number 3. Golden Frieza. Please, if you believe you can defeat me, then you're more delusional than ever! <laughs> Once Frieza is resurrected, he realizes that Goku has grown stronger in his absence and decides to actually train for the first time transforming into Golden Frieza. Golden Frieza is extremely powerful, even more so than Goku and Vegeta in their Super Saiyan Blue forms. In fact, when Golden Frieza is at his full potential, Super Saiyan Blue Goku is barely able to land any blows against the villain. However, despite, or perhaps because of, his incredible power, Golden Frieza experiences a significant decrease in stamina from prolonged periods of use. Number 2, Frieza. And I suppose the great Super Saiyan is going to arrive and magically defeat what has never been defeated. It's legend. Fantasy. Who cares? The most recurring villain in the franchise, and once considered to be the undisputed top dog in terms of Dragon Ball villains, Frieza is still the naturally strongest character in the franchise. Even without any training, he's able to hold his own against Goku, who has dedicated his entire life to training. Frieza is so powerful that he actually develops weaker forms to subdue his power. While other villains transform to get stronger, Frieza transforms to get weaker. Oh, what's wrong? Poor baby got a boo-boo? Well, I'll make it better. <laughs> Number 1. Brawly When Brawly is first introduced, his Super Saiyan form is nearly unbeatable. Every attack Goku and his fellow Super Saiyans throw at him just bounce off. Goku isn't even able to defeat Brawly until the Z Fighters give him their energy. While the original Brawly was nowhere near as strong as some other villains, he's reintroduced with a base form capable of going head-to-head -head with Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Once Brawly turns Super Saiyan, he's able to easily take on Goku and Vegeta. The only way the two are able to defeat Brawly is to fuse into Gogeta. So what do you think of our list? Are there any villains you think should have made the cut? Give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Check out these other videos from the Rewinds and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss another video again.